well in lockdown over there? Um, yeah, tough to complain, but it is it is a very weird time. Just yeah. trying to you know adjust. I think we've been doing it long enough now that you know we kind of know what the routine is. Not that there's much of one, but um, <laughs> making the best of every day. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I just wanted to, to, to kind of some of the audience who don't know you to say tonight I'm talking to the talented Hayley, Hayley Steinfeld, singer, songwriter and actor. And you've just released a new single called I Love Yous. And you can see this on YouTube, which I've seen. And it's definitely one to watch during lockdown. And also, I don't know if you know this, Hayley, in during my research, you're one of the 15 youngest Oscar nominees of all time. Wow. And you went on to act, if I am correct, in another 21 parts, and you launched your singing career in 2015 with Love Myself. And you've done modeling for Mew Mew, and you support numerous charities, most of them focused on improving children's lives, which we love. Do you ever have any time off? <laughs> um, well, it's always actually, thank you for, for saying all that. It's, it's um, very rare that I actually take the time or have the time to sort of have off or just reflect on what I have done and what I have accomplished. And um, I think now that we're being forced to do that, uh, it's, um, it's, been a, it's been a nice opportunity um, to have this. I've never had this kind of time at home. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you've just got a, have you got a new dog? You've got a dog, haven't you? Martini. Is it called Martini? Yes. Martini. Yeah. Girl, Martini. boy? She's a little girl. She's the best thing in the whole world. It's so funny because last year, I kind of knew that, like, last year I kept saying next year I want to get a dog. Um, and I didn't realize that it would happen so soon. It was just kind of an idea. It was something I knew I, I you know, wanted to explore the idea of, but, well obviously didn't know that this was going to happen and I thought I was going to be traveling a bunch at, at this time um so I thought maybe it would happen a lot later um but then I started looking I was online and I was looking and I was looking I was looking and I, I found her and it was it just happened, happened did, she sleep, did she sleep on the bed no mm -mm. <laughs> yeah my husband would never let a dog sleep in it yeah. anyway I've got some really just kind of easy questions you know light dinner party cocktail party but kind of let's say breakfast questions Great. so basically you were 14 when you acted in true grit and then and you started acting at what 12 uh, i started i started studying acting when i was uh when i was eight nine um but i didn't make my first movie until i was 13 that was true grit um but yeah i started like taking classes when i was about eight and was there anything else apart from that that you wanted to do while you were while you were growing up when you were yeah, young? Yeah, absolutely everything. I mean, the fact that like, I mean, it one one week it was horseback riding, so my parents would fully support that. I would get the whole like three month you know pack of classes. I'd get all the gear. I was at the best school. It was the whole thing. And then I would like decide halfway through. I was like, mm, I want to switch it up. I want to play basketball. I play <laughs> basketball. Then it was dance. Then it was, it was, I was here, there and everywhere. So when it came to the idea of acting or as my eight year old self saw it as being in commercials, um, my mom knew that it, you know, um, required a lot more of a commitment than I was used to and said, if you take classes for a full year, we will look into it. And so that's when I, I took classes for a year and then she took headshots in our backyard. We sent them out to 10 different agents and uh, one called, it was a print agent and I signed to them for a bit and I, I ended up signing with them across the board theatrically as well. Um, and then the rest is history. <laughs> And tell me, with the riding, with the riding, I love you doing the riding classes. So you didn't, you didn't have to take riding classes to do that. The Matty's part in True Grit. Well, yes. Yeah, so what's so great is I had had a bit of experience, and I was so looking forward to, um, you know, there was no fear, no hesitation when it came to that. But I did, I did train for, um, I believe, a, a, about a month on that horse, um, and I worked with, I mean, the greatest, uh, the greatest people, and those horses were incredible, and and you know, they're probably one of if not my well one of my favorite animals yeah um, no my i have to say they're my favorite they are my favorite yeah animals. so tell me what uh what's the first thing you remember as a child the first thing i remember as a child damn 
I mean, just like at all? At all. Anything. Anything that pops up in the head. I have this very, very vivid memory of, I believe I was six or seven. It's a long way into my life without having any memories before then, but this is something that's always stood out to me. Um, my, my mom was watching the film Paper Moon in her room and she called me into her room. She's like, you've got to see this movie. I think you're going to love it. And anytime my mom or dad or brother had suggested anything like that, it was like I would about face and run the other way. If it was something they thought I'd like, it was probably not something I'd like, right? Um, and this was something that I was like, mm, it looked interesting. So I sat there. My mom started the movie over. And I watched this thing. I did not move from the position I was sitting in from the beginning to the end of this film. And to this day, it's one of my all-time favorites. Um, and I think that that kind of... I think it stayed with me so strongly because of the fact that, so Tatum O'Neill in that film, I believe was, I'd have to look it up and remind myself, but either the age that I was when I watched it or just a few years older. So it was like, she, it could have been me the whole time I was well, watching she, it. She's <laughs> also one of the youngest nominees. She's in that movie. Right. So you're in okay. great company. You're in great. <laughs> Crazy, full circle. Um, but yeah, that, that, that moment, I just like, I'll never forget, like running into her bedroom and then sitting and watching that movie from the beginning to the end. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you've done so much already. You know, you're an actor, you're a singer, you're a songwriter, and you're only 24. So what other ambitions do you Three. have? Do you still have? Um, I have so many. I have, I mean, I, there, I, I feel like I'm constantly surrounded by people that inspire me um, that are so good at what they do. Um, I think there is a lot in the film space that I would love to explore as far as directing and, and continuing producing. Um, I would love to, you know, I have a I have a keyboard in front of me that I've been trying to teach myself how to learn. If I could play any instrument, I mean, I've just kind of dabbled in a few, so I would love to like master one. Um, I was gonna, that was one of my questions. I was gonna ask you what else, what, what other talents would you like to have? Oh, if I could just sit down at a piano and just pull a fast one, man, I'd do anything. I'm on my way to it though. I've been, I was up till like 1 a.m. just playing, just trying to figure it out. Oh no, 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 go for it. You know what, my husband, my husband is during this is teaching himself, well, he taught himself guitar, he's teaching himself guitar. And so basically I got, he's, you know, torturing me with the guitar let me tell you oh great <laughs> <laughs> and so what is what else so what is your tre what is your most treasured possession most treasured possession you know if i'm being honest i don't i don't know that i necessarily have one i i, I don't think i'm a, like very materialistic when it comes to things you know a couple well it's been it's been some time now but when my well, more than just my town, but when um, the fires were happening, uh, I was actually across the country and all I could think about, I mean, my family was here, I was away working and I just was like, you know, my, my poor family was like packing up our valuables and, and, and a lot of that was just photographs. So I think there are photographs that I, um, that I love and, and cherish. Um, I have- That's good. My, I think photographs yeah. are good. Photographs are great, but it's funny because when I came home after all that had happened, I was going through my room and getting rid of things that God forbid anything happened. Like I, I, you know, could weed through what I, what I don't want, what has been in my life for too long, you know? Um, and I realized that there, there were very, very few things that I pulled aside. And, and I think the most important thing was like my family, you know what I mean? Um, so they're your treasure. That's good. They're your yeah. most treasured possessions. Yeah, yeah my, my family is my, my family and my most treasured possessions, actually. Yeah. So, Nate, give me the film that you recommend everyone should watch. Paper Moon. Not Paper Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Book you recommend everyone should read. Um, I carry around Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. Um, I just, there's something about that book that I feel like I could flip to any page at any time of any day and find something that like, I was going to say makes me smile, but doesn't just makes me think. Um, I love that book. I think everyone should read it. It's a fast read. Okay. So I'm going to read that one. Song you recommend everyone should listen to. Hmm. <laughs> can be your song. It can be. Your okay. Song. Well, in that case, <laughs> um, I love you. It's by me. 
Okay. And what is your favorite do song to dance to alone in your room? What song do you dance to alone? You know where that song? Yeah. Um, <laughs> damn. This isn't necessarily what I like. It doesn't have to be the best song. It's just the song that you love to dance. You know, the one that you really like. And mine is like, I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. So they... That's okay. So the one that came to mind is a song that like you, I cannot not dance to, and that's September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> yeah, see, there it's you so go. random, and it's not one that I like will go in my room and put on just to dance alone in my room too. But it's one that I will definitely be dancing. Uh, okay, on. well there you go. <laughs> um, and then the, what are the top songs do you think that define you? They're your top. We have a thing here called um, Desert Island where you have to choose five. They interview you. You have to choose five, seven songs, but. Maybe you could, what are your five, what are your five, just off the top of your head, those five songs that you love? Um, no Scrubs, TLC. Um, oh my God, uh, Love on the Brain, Rihanna. Um, brain work, come on, this quarantine it's brain. Early. Uh, no, it's early. No, uh, that's not even an excuse. Um, what else? No scrubs, love on the brain. Maybe like, drop it like it's hot. Um, oh my God. It's, Why can't I think? It's hard, doesn't matter. Okay, your favorite karaoke song? Definitely no scrubs. That's like the go-to number one. It's uh, okay. literally that and then kind of anything Britney. Okay, brilliant. There we go. And your favorite character in a film? Damn, my favorite character in a film. I'm not good at picking favorites. What is your? Who's your favorite character in a film? I would say mine is um, Bette Davis in All About Eve. That's a good one. That's she's my favorite. Wow, okay. I can't, I am done. I'm being thick, and I'm also got kind of like coronavirus brain tonight, so I can't actually remember her name, but basically, she's, she's my most favorite character ever. I love her. I, I gotta, I and I, love, I and I love, and I love Gone with the Wind. Oh, okay, that's when you said, yeah, okay. You know what hmm. I mean? I, I, gotta... kind of, I like kind of brave, strong women. Agreed. Yeah. Do you cry in movies? I sob. Yeah. Me it doesn't too. matter what, like, it, yeah, fully. To, which is the last movie that you had a really bad cry in? I'm embarrassed to tell you what mine is. Go on. <laughs> Go on, my star is born. <laughs> oh, my God. By the way, hold on. Same, actually. Same. Oh. In fact, hold on. I think I may have even made the mistake of watching it on a plane, which is not smart. Oh no, Don't you must never, it. never no. watch a movie on a plane, <laughs> the lack of oxygen. I remember once being on a plane and sitting next to this guy and watching some terrible movie, like The Notebook. Have you ever watched The Notebook? Of course I, I have. I'm literally crying so badly, sobbing no. uncontrollably. No. And he obviously <laughs> thought somebody had, somebody had died or somebody, because this man, this businessman, like tapped me on the shoulder and went, are you all right? Can I help oh you? Oh my God. <laughs> Terrible, yeah, I do not recommend. <laughs> Never watch sad movies on an airplane. No. So what is your idea of perfect happiness? What's your idea of perfect happiness? Oh, I don't know if that exists. Um, yeah, but it's... Is it lying on a beach? Is it looking at the sky? Is it, I would say... Is it hearing birds sing? Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, and, and yeah, I think being healthy, number one, good health, and fresh air. So probably I, I live at the beach, being on yeah. the beach, day or night, looking at the stars, or... Sitting under the sun. Look, you see, you're lucky looking at the sea. So, what's mm. your fa so fav so favorite? Because that was my next one. Favorite view or journey? Okay, so there are 
quite a few like little lookout spots near where I live um, that some of them require like hopping a couple fences or driving up some windy roads. And there's something that I just, I've been going to these spots since I was a kid. I grew up here. And so it's, um, I don't know, there's something so special about just the ocean and being able to look at, at out at the ocean that I absolutely you know what love. I have to say that the, 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 the one thing that most people are missing if they've, they've seen it and love it is the ocean if they're not mm -hmm. near it at the moment okay quick favorite flower rose and you obviously love clothes from mm. all your videos so who's your favorite designer how dare you? <laughs> uh, favorite designer. Oh! I love Mark Jacobs and I love him as a human. So uh, okay, well that's good. Favorite nail varnish color. I don't know. I don't okay. have one. Favorite color of lipstick. I don't I don't really wear lipstick. I I love wearing like a good uh, lip liner and like a chapstick. Yeah, well there you go, that's good. And what is the, what to date do you think is the most important lesson life has taught you? Uh, that, that I have a, I have a purpose. I was put on this earth for a reason. And even when I lose sight of that, if it's as simple as making someone a stranger smile, then that's, you know, I have a, I do have a purpose. That's great. Wow, that's so nice. And what is, what is your current state of mind now, apart from the fact that you've just woken up and look fabulous, if I may say, so, actually. I mean, you, you look fabulous for somebody that's I just mean, woken up. It's always when I like have five minutes and I just like somehow turn something up and I'm like, damn, okay, maybe I just need to like not take so much time. Um, current state of mind, uh, I'm a little like, I'm a little lost and confused, to be honest. I just kind of am like, you know, bored. Um, but I, I, you know, finding ways to be creative and I, I feel like I have that right in front of me. So creative, but sort of bored and confused. <laughs> and do you have, do you have a motto or a saying or a word that you overuse? I constantly tell myself everything happens for a reason all day, every day. Yeah. And also this is my, this is, was a good question that was given to me the other day, which I, from a friend of mine. And they said, ask everybody, who would they throw overboard? <laughs> um, <laughs> who, wow. Um, damn, a couple people came to mind. It doesn't have know. to be a person. It could be anything. Do you know what I mean? It could be... Oh, you know, then my could... cell phone. I would throw my cell phone overboard. Oh, my God. Quite right. So would I, actually. Yeah. Oh. And, and what do you do... What do you do or what do you, ha what do you never leave the house without doing? Washing my face or brushing my teeth, ever. Okay. I can't, I can't do it. I can barely leave my, I can't leave my room without doing that. <laughs> okay. And if you had to rate the satisfaction of your life so far out of 10, what would you score? Oh, 10. 10. Fantastic. Yeah. Mark, but just so you know, Mark Jacobs, you're, um, you know, you're the person you, whose designs you love the most. He's his 11. Oh, is it? <laughs> you know, it's funny though. I was almost going to, 11 is my, my number. And I was almost going to say 11. I just, you know, I think I've, 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 I'm, I feel so fortunate. So yeah, it's up there. Oh, good. You're good. You're a good, positive person. I like it. That's been brilliant. Thank and it's you. been a real pleasure talking to you. And thank you, you so well. much. Thank you so much. And I hope one day we get the, the, the we meet. I hope so much. Nice. Yeah, you too. Have a good time. Thank have, you. Stay safe. You too. Stay thank strong. you. You know what I mean? And have a Thanks. good day. Lots of love. You too. Bye. Bye. I've got to save it. I've got to save it. And then I've got to do something else. I've got to save it, and I've done that. Finish it. I've saved it. Share the story. Are you still alive? I don't know. I've saved it. Oh, oh you have to click end.